Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is another Shop My Stash video. This one's for February. What you see here is for last month's um, what I had in my makeup organizer. This is everything I used. I'm gonna go through this and I'll pick some new stuff that I'm gonna put in for the month of February. But first I want to talk about um, some things. So basically I I said I wanted to do this and I'm going to continue to you to do or focus on my shop my stash videos just to be able to rotate and use my entire makeup collection. So I'm going to continue to use that, but I I've, I've gotten some questions around maybe doing some more project panning and um I've been thinking about it and I've decided to do a mini mini project pan. So I'm going to pick out some products that I know uh, won't be too hard for me to use up because I still want to focus on the rest of my makeup So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a few products maybe like four or five products to put in a Project pan and we'll see how it goes. So let's just start out here with the top um, I'm gonna take out the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. I have another one that I want to that I want to use I'm going to keep the Inglot AMC Cream Foundation just because it is um, one of my oldest foundations and it's also one of my latest foundations, so it's good to use now in February. This is one of the products that I want to uh, put into my project pan. So this is a repressed blush from e.l.f. It's really cheap. I think it was like $1. It's in the color Koi. And as you can see, I've used a ton of it this month. I really love this product. So there's just so little product left in this. I feel like um, I can just put it in my project pan and make sure to use it up. Maybe, um, maybe I'll use it up in February. We'll see, but I'm gonna put it in my project pan. Uh, the Dr. Lip was a new item for me. Got it for Christmas. Um, it's a lip tint in it has a, an elderberry pigment. It's lovely and I've used this a ton, but I'm gonna put it back now and see if I can find like another lip balm or Some similar product to this. We'll see but I'm gonna put it back for now. I've had this Inglot Freedom System uh, Correcting concealer in a project pan earlier but I want to put this back in. There's so little left and I really want to focus on using that one up. And so I'm just going to keep this. And also, I also hit pan on this concealer this month, which is really cool. So I'm going to put this back into my collection. So the MUA Makeup Academy um, eyeshadow palette in Undressed it used to be a lovely palette. And I kind of just quickly realized that this is just, it's expired, basically. It has lost its pigment, it's just really dry, and I'm ready to declutter it. So I'm gonna get rid of this palette now. Um, I used to really love it, but I'm done. I'm, I'm putting, in, putting it in the trash. Let's look at this um, little palette. So this is the only product I included for the month of January. It's the Marilou Minizer. Um, I'm going to put this back into my collection. The Inglot Freedom System palette has a blush that I've already repressed. I love this blush and also a powder that I hit pan on quite a while ago. But I'm going to put these back and choose some new products. I'm keeping the makeup remover, or am I? I think this is all dry. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter this one as well. I figured out, I or I found that the Doucet Relentless Matte Lip Crayon in Winterberry works for me when I put a lip balm underneath. So this is like a matte formula. I don't love, or I don't like at all matte formulas. So I was really thinking about decluttering this, but I realized it really works when I put a lip balm underneath. So. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put this back into my stat or my organizer, the Rituals. Nude Pink is the shade. I just like to combine it with other lipsticks, so I'll just keep it in. This is um, 
a lipstick I got for Christmas, the Makeup Store Lipstick in Redwood. I love this shade, it's beautiful, but I'm gonna put this back now and make room for some other um, products. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Crush. So this is like a, a well-known, well-loved uh, lipstick for many people, but I just don't, I don't like it. And I've given it a fair shot this month and I'm just ready to let this go. So I'm gonna de declutter this. And I'm very surprised that I am decluttering a few products this month, but See, this is the thing when I do these Shop My Stash videos, you kind of realize you think you love something and then you just keep it in your collection forever and then you realize once you use it that you're just so over it. Um, this lip liner I'm ready to put back into my collection. It's the H&M Lip Definer in O Natural. Keeping both of these products in, the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner and the, I don't remember, this is like a brow clear brow gel, a really light concealer. I was kind of uh, giving this a last chance this month and I I really like it. It's still a little bit too light for me, but I'm gonna keep it in for February because there's still a chance that I am just as pale as I was in January. So I'm gonna keep it in and make sure to use it some more. And next time I might pur purchase it in a darker shade. So it's the Makeup Mecca Double Action Covering Concealer in Light. This is another product I'm gonna put in my project pan. This is the Isadora Sculpting Brow Pen in Light Brown. This is a fairly new product, but I use up these brow pencils so quickly, and this is all that I have left. I don't know if you can see, but it's not very much. So I did went out and purchased, or repurchased another one of these, uh, which I'm not gonna put in for this month, I'm gonna put this in my project pan and make sure to use it up. And I'm gonna put in, uh, I think it's an Essence or Catrice one. I'll, I'll let you know in just a second, but putting it in my project pan, really good one, by the way. The Grande Primer Fortified with Lash Plumping Peptides. So this was a disappointment for me for the few, first few times that I used it. And I was almost like um, giving it up but it was rather expensive and I just wanted to give it a few more chances. So I just used it um, continuously throughout January and I ended up really liking it. I just had to figure out the right way to use it. So I found that um, just using the tiniest amount of product makes it work as it should. Like it makes the, the lashes curl and stay curled and I also find that using this uh, on a regular basis actually makes the lashes grow faster, which is great. So I'm on to really liking this product now. And I'm gonna keep this mascara for at least another month, the Doucet Max Lash Volumizer Mascara in black. Um, I still have some more product left, so I'm just keeping that one in. Now let's do eyeliners. The Isadora Inliner Kajal in Blonde. I'm keeping that one in. So this is the Twist Eyeshadow from Cores in number, I think it's 68. Um, I just love this cream color. It is just the prettiest thing ever. And I actually repurchased this one because this is just ready to be decluttered. It's too old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I'm gonna include the the new, um, the new one for February, just because I have other cream shadows that I wanna, that are already opened and I wanna include for uh, next month instead. But at least I've got a new one. I, I didn't wanna be without this, but I'm letting this old one go. Keeping the Gold Digger eyeliner from Makeup Store. Um, keeping the ColourPop cream gel line, liner in Mr. Bing. Also keeping the Makeup Mecca, just a gray eyeliner, waterproof liner. Um, putting back the Makeup Store Rush, Matte Russian lip liner. And I'm keeping the Isadora Perfect Contour Kajal I in, what's the color, aquatic. 
And then this one, I, I've had this for years now. It has three eyeliners and one lip liner in one. Um, I've really enjoyed this throughout the year, but I have realized that it has become really dry and hard to work with for the last few months. And I'm just ready to declutter it now. Um, I got it as a gift from my sister, so it's really like sentimental and difficult to get rid of, but I mean, I realize now that it's not going to be used um, in the future just because it has lost, it's, it's expired, okay? And I've gotten a lot of use out of it, so I'm ready to let this go. I'm just going to keep these two lip products um, throughout the whole year. It's this Adora Twist Up Lip, Lip lip gloss or glossy stick in lovely lavender and also Isadora lip booster in juicy mode. I'm also keeping the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in light I think. Um, this I love and I was going to keep it in but I decided I, I might as well try some of my other brow powders as well. And so I'm going to put this back into my collection and also I'm going to try another one of my uh, eyeshadow primers instead of this uh, painterly paint pot from MAC but I do love this. This is my favorite that I have right now although it's not cruelty free. And I'm also going to put back this Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Primer. So in my last drawer right here I just have some jewelries and some perfumes um, that I'm working on from my um, perfume project pan. I have my Vaseline, let's see, I think I'm going to put this back for now. And then a sharpener and then I have my ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow. Uh, like I said, I got this early December and it was dry when I got it. It's still super dry and it's getting drier day by day. But I managed to hit pan on it, on it which is great I think. And I'm going to keep this in my... Um, little makeup organizer here for an, at least another month. I mean, as you can maybe see, it's so dry. But I really like the color and I'm gonna make the, or get the most used out of it before I let it go. So I'm gonna put this one back in. And with these two products, I kind of want to put them in the project pan as well. So this is just one that I'm gonna keep in my, um, my organizer here for the rest of the year and there's about this much left and then I just want to hit pan on the Kevin Quan sculpting powder. I have no idea how much is left before I, I do hit pan but so just hitting pan is my goal there. So um, the products may change as uh, like throughout the year but this is what I'm starting with. So hopefully those of you who are here for the project panning part of my channel will enjoy this. And um, this I feel like is manageable. I'm still going to enjoy uh, trying to use this, these up as well as the stuff that I'm going to put in here. So actually let's see what I'm going to put in here for the month of February. Alright, so let's start off with the makeup setting mist that I'm going to include. It's from Colourpop. Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I really, really love this one. It smells amazing and works really great. I'm also going to include this MUA Pro Brow Ultimate Eyebrow Kit. Um, it's, not, it's not my favorite product, but I have barely used it, to be honest. So I'm going to give this a fair shot. Um, and then also the Ordinary... High Adherence Silicone Primer. Really like that one. And then the Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Although I already have two concealers um, left in here, I want to include the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the color Porcelain as well because it's so light and I really need to use this. It is unopened, haven't used it, but I mean, if it lays for long enough unopened, I'm sure it'll, it'll go bad anyways. So I'm going to put this in here and hopefully I'll get to use it. 
For powder, I'm choosing the Manicador HD Perfecting Powder. Also the Bang Beauty Glam Cream Color. This is like a gold cream shadow that I want to get some more use out of. It is, it is super pigmented. And also the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara in BFF. Um, I think the color is Mind Blown. Or no, Blue Your Mind, sorry. So I've had this in my collection for so long and I never find the right time to use a blue mascara. Um, so let's try this out and see how it performs. Next, I'm gonna include the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, two blushes, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Soft Color Blush in Santa Rose. It is so, so old, but I love this blush and I need to use it. Uh, and also a cream blush that is going to expire if I don't use it, or maybe it already has, let's find out. The Apica blush, cream blush in pollen, I think. Yeah, it's just um, really a pretty peach colored blush. So this is the eyebrow pencil I talked about. It's from Catrice, the Slimatic Ultra Precise Waterproof Brow Pencil. This color is in dark. Oh, it's broken, great. Yeah, so I haven't really tried this, but hopefully I can make it work, or maybe it's too dark. We'll see. If it's too dark, I'm gonna bring in my new eyebrow pencil that is exactly like this one. So I got those two for this month, and also a lip liner, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. Um, this does not get too much love from me. It's not it's not my favorite color, but everyone is raving about it, so I have to give it a shot. Then I have a few other lip products. So this will probably replace kind of my lip balmy, lip tinty uh, products that I've had earlier. Uh, this is clear though. Yeah, it's definitely, cl it's completely clear. It smells like cupcakes and yeah I really need to use it so let's bring that one in and then I got a dark dark um, red color for makeup mecca moisturizing lip balm chubby stick in show smile this is really really pretty and lastly my Medusa's makeup in sugar daddy this is one of my well, what I consider sort of a nude shade and it goes a little bit brown. And also two new products in that I purchased this week. So this is another one of those Isadora Twist of Glossy Sticks. Uh, only this is in the color Think Pink. So I've never tried this color before. I, I haven't tried any other color other than the lovely lavender. Oh, oh, that's very pink. Uh, that's definitely not my color, but I'm gonna see if I can make it work anyways. I'm, at least I'm gonna include it. If I don't like it, like at all, I'll just give it away. And this is one that I've been really wanting to try for a, a little while. It's from uh, a Norwegian influencer. She has her own skincare brand and makeup brand, Camilla, Camilla P. So this is one of her lip glosses in baby pink. So she had three colors to choose from. Um, oh, I can't say that it has any smell. Um, I like this. It looks very natural and absolutely a baby pink color, very transparent. And I like the, I like the applicator. And I also like the container. It was really pretty. So I'm going to include that one as well. And lastly, uh, these are the eyeshadows gonna, that I'm going to work with for this month. It is the ColourPop You Had Me at Hello. So there's um, lots of movie tones, some copper, gold, brown. Yeah. So 
So we'll see what we get out of this one. But this is probably my top, my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette. And it hasn't gotten much love from me because of all my project pants. So I'm ready to give this lots of love for the month of February. So this was what I shopped from my stash for the month of February. So that was it for this month's Shop My Stash. I hope you like this look. It's pretty much the same look as I do every single day. It's something movie like um, that's just what I prefer. And um, I will continue to use these project products as well as my Project Pan products. And um, we'll see how it went in about a month. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good day. Bye.